Hello, my name is Declan Carlin, and today I'm going to be reacting to Pumpkin Heart, the movie, the OG, the first one. Mainly because I'm needing some nostalgia at the moment, and I need content. But before that... Who's that Pokemon? It's vodka. Yes, I am going to set myself a little challenge, because... What am I going to do? Do something productive in my life? I'm going to be assigned five random Pokemon and when or if they make their first appearance I will have to do a shot. Mainly because I'm bored. So let's have a look what the five random Pokemon that may or may not get me a little bit tipsy could be. Essentially I'm trying to avoid, because from what I remember watching it as a kid, there's a scene where they have to get to this island. So I'm trying to avoid water Pokemon and flying Pokemon, because as far as I remember, that's how they have to get across. But basically I'm looking for rare Pokemon or Pokemon they sort of just forgot to add to the film. Okay, first up we have Gyarados. That's a definite shot. Also got Pinsir, good, rare Pokemon. I doubt it'll be in it. We also have Ninetales, maybe. Executor, that won't be in it. And Mankey. Mankey's possible, but I think it's more likely they have Primeape. I know too much about Pokemon, don't I? Oh my god, straight away. The first Pokemon that appears in the film is a Mankey. Oh, the f The first. Nice shot. <coughs> that wake you up, wouldn't it? I think it's the first anime I ever watched. It was either this or Digimon. Does this count as anime? I don't know. Look at that nose. It's an absolute beak. No wonder your daughter's dead. That vodka's gone straight to my head. This version of the song is terrible. Pinsa, fuck, I knew it was coming. Fuck, I knew it was coming. Pinsa, good. Rare Pokemon. I doubt it'll be in it. I doubt it'll be in it. I doubt it'll be in it. I just felt it. I just knew. I just knew that that pirate looking twat was going to throw a pincer. Oh, you bastard. We're only 20 minutes in. That's two Pokemon down. Nice shot. Oh, here they are to do a minor inconvenience and leave. I know we gotta grab some rare Pokemon. Jesse and James. Team Rocket. Hot take time. Very often these two here are incompetent. They're merely a minor inconvenience. They always got found out. Any other people in their line of work, we've got fired by now. But here's my hot take. They are doing it on purpose. Maybe not them, but Giovanni and Team Rocket are letting them do it on purpose. Why I hear you ask? You're an organisation that steals people's Pokemon. Eventually, people will get scared of you. People will start locking their doors tighter. People will start being more alert if they hear the Boogeyman Team Rocket are stealing Pokemon. These guys show up. Minor inconvenience. Laughable. Everyone's got their guard down. They see these guys. They think, Team Rocket's nothing. What, are these guys going to steal my Pokemon? Okay then, their guard gets lowered down. Team Rocket can steal what they like. Alright, this is, this is Gyarados is coming. Gyarados is coming. There it fucking is! I knew it! I knew it! Fuck! I remember the scene, I remember the water Pokemon and flying Pokemon, and they had big enough for people to ride on, so naturally you go Gyarados. That's fine, I know. I know that one. That was a gimme. I should have known that was coming. Nice shot! <coughs> oh! That is really bad voice acting. Come back here. Or I'll place you under arrest. You cross, maybe. We take you young. Vikings are used to big. How do they get away with this stuff, man? But still, my hot take stands. 
They are incompetent on purpose because I just poke myself in the eye. They better do the song thing. And they reveal themselves. <gasps> do it. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Forget the motto, we're gonna have Oh to no! The blue fooled me on the motto. Stay together, it's our only home. Ash has got that weird like Goku-esque, whereas like a woman doing the teenage voice, like Bart. It sounds really strained. Oh god. That's terrible. Ah, oh, Mew. Thank you, little Mew. You little Mew. It was no problem getting through that storm. I rode over on Gyarados' back. Yeah, I know you did. I had a drink because of it, you asshole. You haven't met my Pokemon. Over there. Ruffles. He's gonna have a nine tails. <laughs> I knew it. Why did I know? Why did I know she was gonna have a nine tails? I knew. I just knew. Oh. Fourth one. Nice shot. <coughs> Brock Saber. That's my guy, Brock. Thirsty boy. Brock is the first simp. He was the first. With its psychic powers, it is destroying our laboratory. We dreamed of creating the world's strongest Pokemon. I know this is a kid's film, but I feel like we've been told this information about five times. Well, it's like the rhino scene from Mace Ventura. Oh, it's like the Dragonfly from Game of Thrones, but better. So you can see what's happening. Let's fucking go out. Fuck him up! What are you gonna do? Punch him? Oh, you are! <laughs> if you can't beat Pokemon... <laughs> if you can't beat Pokemon with Pokemon, then just try and, you know, abuse them. What is that? I don't know. Throw me to his face there. So, <laughs> What's wrong with Mewtwo's face? That's really badly drawn. You. <laughs> That's more like it. Dramatic slow mo. Why are we fighting? Can't we all get along? Pokemon aren't meant to fight. Not like this. What? Is that the takeaway? Pokemon shouldn't fight. At least not like this. They should be pitted against each other for competition. That is a weird message for a universe that is essentially built on people battling Pokemon. Pikachu just taking it like a champ. Oh, Pikachu. I always made me really emotional as a kid. Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny are really great. They just keep getting more Thirsty every Brock. Time I see them. God damn it, Brock, keeping in your trousers. We wind up in this place anyway. Well, I guess we're just here because we're here. That's a big cop out in the film. Yeah, All those events that happened, doesn't matter. You forget about them. Doesn't matter. So that was a fun trip down memory lane uh thank you so much for watching as ever and you know remember don't fight set aside your differences unless you're actually in a pokemon battle in which case have at it bye